Hello and welcome to day seven of Jimbo and Fisher's advent calendar. Uh, today's Christmas subject is Christmas food and we all tend to go a bit overboard at Christmas. We forget the diets, we stop worrying about our waistlines and it all starts on the 1st of December with a little tiny Christmas advent calendar chocolate. And then before you know it, it's the 25th of uh, December you're eating after eights before 8 a.m. on Christmas Day. You've got sort of luxury Christmas biscuit crumbs down your new unicorn onesie. Um, towards the end of the day, you've had a turkey dinner, six cheese boards, twiglets, a box of Quality Street, a turkey sandwich supper, and you've smashed 7,000 calories. Uh, I really don't know how Amy Holmes does it. It's 365 days of the year, to be honest. Anyway, most people love Christmas dinner, uh, but not me. My mother's cooking's terrible. In fact, it's that bad that Ant and Deck turn up because they think that we're all doing a, a Bush Tucker trial. Apparently, Boris Johnson isn't a fan of sprouts on his Christmas dinner. And apparently, he's decided he's putting his foot down this year and he's saying no to sprouts. Um, but his mum's got other ideas. She's saying that he's going to be having sprouts with his Christmas dinner, whether he likes it or not. So it's not going to be the first time that he doesn't get his own way with Brussels this year. It's also a big time of year for some of the chairs in the house, you know, the chairs that don't get used. Uh, in fact, for many of the chairs at the Christmas dinner table, it's the first time they've been sat on all year. So you get things like office chairs, ottomans, um, sort of like, you know, bits of ch you know chairs from wherever they can find in the house, uh, even a high chair. Uh, and in my family, that's not a, a baby's chair, that's just a really tall chair for me because I'm so small. And then you've also got a few stools at the foot of the table as well, but you know, our dog's old and you know, he can't help that his bowels are out of control now. And obviously we can't talk about Christmas food without talking about the big fat Christmas pudding. And again, that's not a reference to Eamon Holmes, I'm talking about the actual Christmas pudding, you know, that you traditionally have a coin in. Now this year, they're not going to be doing that. They've decided to remove the coin from Christmas puddings because obviously because of the spread of infection using cash and stuff. So they decided to put a bank card instead so that it can be contactless. And it's also a good time of year to remember how fortunate we all are and um, that we can all eat and that we, you know, we've got a reliable system in place that means uh, children uh, don't go hungry at Christmas. Um, I mean, it's just a disgrace, isn't it, that the uh, the person who's kind of seen to that is a uh, footballer, Marcus Rashford, and not our elected government. Uh, but good on Marcus Rashford, though, uh, and, and the community for sort of pulling together uh, to support the cause and force the government into several embarrassing U-turns. But that's life. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, it's just 18 sleeps till Christmas.